Hello, I'm Matthew Connor. Today I'm going to review the new King Limited driver from Cobra. As you can see, it has a 460cc blackhead design with this orange stripe on the sole. Now it comes in right hand and left hand. And as you can see, there looks to be signs of new technologies on the sole, the face and the crown. So let's give this first one a try. It's not a bad day, I've got a little bit of wind just into my face. All right. Oh no, that was a shocker. Let's hit another one straight away. Let's not count that one. That was a terrible swing. All right, let's have another go. Oh yes, that's a much better swing. And the ball flight looks like it's got some force behind it. And that's probably down to this new E9 face that's been re-engineered. It's available face thickness and it's lighter that helps to produce a faster ball speed. And you do get that thumping feeling when you do hit the ball. It also helps with the forgiveness as well. So I'm gonna try the forgiveness. I'm gonna see how forgiving this club is. I'm just gonna place a little bit of face tape on the club. I'm gonna, today I'm gonna try and strike one from the heel. Just see if I can keep it on the golf course. Oh, I've caught that one more from the bottom, maybe slightly off the heel as well, but the ball's turned back onto the target line. You can see where I've hit from. Now the face will help with forgiveness, but also the forgiveness is helped by this new space port. And basically this is a 16 gram weight that helps to lower the center of gravity and that helps with distance and forgiveness. So I'm gonna see now how easy it is to shape the ball with this club. Let's grab a ball from the creative bag. All right, what have I selected today? Ooh, low straight. So actually quite a nice ball flight to try and hit into this little bit of breeze today. Generally, when I try and hit this shot, if anything, I'll just push it over to the right. Let's try and hit this one dead straight. Let's try and get that feeling. Oh, yes. I couldn't hit that any better. It's gone arrow straight. Now, to be honest, the head looks like an all-round driver head. It doesn't look really forgiving or really workable. And that's probably down to this new T-Extreme carbon fibre crown. Basically, it's 20% lighter than normal carbon fibre. And that's enabled Cobra to put this heavier weight in the bottom. That's lowered that centre of gravity, kept the actual centre of gravity more towards the neutral line. And this helps to produce like an all-round, higher ball flight, low spin driver. So let's have a couple more hits. Try and follow that last shot up with another good swing. Oh, a lovely strike. And I've just turned it over slightly to the left, but it does feel solid when you strike the ball and it feels like the ball's coming off with some speed. You can see this new trench that goes all the way around the E9 face. And this is like a speed channel that helps to produce a, a faster ball speed. So let's have one more hit. Barring that first swing, I've actually produced quite a nice swing there today. Let's finish it off with a good one. Oh yes, I've ripped it again, maybe slightly to the right. Now the King driver does have the MyFly technology that we have seen before. So basically you can adjust the loft from nine degrees to 12 degrees. It has eight different loft settings and it has a neutral and draw bias. The shaft's the Aldeo Rogue shaft, the black shaft. This weighs in between 66 and 70 grams, makes the club swing weight at, at D farther. So that's pretty standard. It comes in regular stiff and extra stiff. So now I'm going to check the readings. The total distance was 284 yards and the backspin rate was low at 2,354. So now it's time for me to sum this driver up. 
At the moment in the golf industry, there's a retro theme happening with golf equipment and the King is no exception. It reminds me of when Greg Norman was dominating the golf world with his consecutive 331 weeks of being world number one. He was the best player with probably some of the best equipment at the time. So the King titling a driver with all this new technology is a good idea. Anyway, let me know what you think about this club. Place some comments below. Thanks for watching. Would you like a game? Come on then. If we're going to help all the golfers in the world, I need your help. Contact me. Let me know what equipment you'd like reviewed and what drills you'd like me to cover. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.